Hello everyone, this is Flammy. Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a single player mission. But this single player mission is uh, not one of the hardest ones, and I don't think too many of you are going to get stuck on it. But it's got a lot of uh, learning opportunity in the fact that there's multiple ways you can approach it, and I think that's a, that's a very important skill that we all should have. So I'm going to go ahead and load up this mission, Bouncy Castle. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be trying out a new YouTube feature where I can ask you guys questions. So if you're watching this on a mobile device, you, I don't think you'll probably have access to this, so go check it out on a computer. If you are a computer, great, be sure you have annotations turned on, as I think that might be required. So this is Bouncy Castle. So what do we have here? We've got two archer towers, two mortars, and three cannons. Um, let's uh, take a look at how much damage these guys can do. So I'm going to go over and pull up the wiki. And you can check out what level these guys are by looking at the image on your screen and then looking at the images that are on the wiki. So, for example, this cannon right here is a level 6. All three of them, that is. That means they do 31 damage per second, or 24 damage per shot. 24.8, actually. The Archer Tower, by comparison, is also a level 6, but it does 35 damage per shot and 35 damage per second because it's got a slower fire rate. The Mortars, however, they're only level 2. They do a full 25 damage per shot, but only 5 damage per second because of a 5 seconds per shot delay. But, they, of course, the mortars also do splash damage, so you should keep that in mind, if, depending on the army composition that you have. So, moving on to our army. So, we've got a lot of uh, giants here today, so we can use them. Uh, and then we've got a nice mix of uh, all the other units. Uh, the wall breakers, I'm probably going to be paying the most attention to, as they're going to give us the different opportunities to come into this base. So, given this army... And given the stats for all these defenses, the first question is going to be, where should we come and attack this base from? We, first option, we can come attack from the top right. Second option, we can come attack from the top left. Third option, we can come attack from the bottom. Please keep in mind that you have all these units available to you. Okay, guys, so my answer to that question is from the top right, as you just saw. So, why the top right? These wall breakers give us the best opportunity. This corridor right here is almost certainly trapped up. Single player missions are prone to use tons and tons of traps, more than we have even have available to us in multiplayer. So I expect that to have lots of traps. But even more so than that, um, I could get rid of them with a goblin. So I'm not really worried about the fact that there's simply their traps there. I don't want to get funneled down here and get focused down here. Because remember, the highest damage dealing things are not actually these mortars, but they're these other things that we don't, will be shooting us the entire time if we all, all of our units slowly come down this funnel. Beyond that, attacking from the top right lets us take out three of these high damage dealing defenses. Like I said, we're not super worried about the mortars this time, and these two cannons on the bottom, both of them are exposed to archers. So, what the next question is going to be, if we're going to use wall breakers to break into the top right here, how should we do so? First option, we can attack, we can deploy them up here on the top right. Second option, we can deploy them right here on the top. Third option, we can deploy them in this hole next to this tree right here. Okay guys, as you just saw, my answer to this one is we're going to deploy on the far right. Why is this? Well, first off, it's most important that we want to not deploy over here on the by this tree. I'll zoom in on the area right here. We don't want to deploy right here because uh, then the units might get distracted and go for this double wall or this single wall. Either of those would be really bad. Why do we not want to attack on the top? Well, it's not a bad option and it would work okay, but attacking on the right side stays farther away from these mortars down here. So when the units come in, I'm not sure if the mortars can hit all the way over to here, but if they can, we'll be slightly farther away so that there's a possible chance we'll take less damage. Finally, attacking from the right side, there's basically no chance the wall breakers will get distracted and go off target. Okay, so the next thing for our planning stage is how are we going to distract these mortars? Even if we do have uh, nice giants that are all coming in from the top right and hopefully won't be attacked while they're attacking the, the, the cannon, well, the cannon's far enough away that they certainly won't be, but we don't want them to take any extra damage even when they're attacking these archer towers. So what are we going to do to distract the mortars? Well, mortars are very distractible. They, uh, once they get to lock onto a unit, they're just going to keep attacking until the unit is dead. So we've got a couple options here. We can either use barbarians to distract the mortar, we can use giants to distract the mortar, or we can use goblins to distract the mortar. What do you guys think we should use? Yeah, I think we should use giants to distract the mortar. Why? Well, in some cases, I prefer, well, in many cases, I prefer to use barbarians. Barbarians have a good health, but at the same time, they're cheap, 
and you can have lots of them in your army composition. And they're also fast to train, which is pretty nice. Giants, on the other hand, they're high health, slow to train, and higher cost. We only want to use these when there are other things in the way which are going to kill barbarians, which would be distracting the mortars, such as these cannons. These cannons mean if I, I deployed some barbarians on the bottom left side, they would get uh, shot down by the cannons, and then the mortars would no longer be distracted. Why don't we want these goblins? Well, goblins are simply going to run away too fast. They're probably going to go after the defenses, and that means they'll run straight through this hole, come right through here, the mortars, and as soon as they walk across the mortars, if they're not dead from the traps or the cannons, the mortars will lose target on them because the mortars have a minimum range. That's why we're not going to use the goblins. So, to review, our first plan is to blow up the walls on the far right side here. Secondly, we're going to deploy the giants on the top right where the new hole is going to be in the walls to take out the cannon, the archer tower, and then the other archer tower. Thirdly, as soon as we deploy the giants on the top right side to take out the cannon, we're going to deploy guys to distract the mortar on the bottom left. And we're going to be using giants because they have better survivability. And so hopefully we'll be distract the mortars for longer. Okay, now we're going to give you another option. Once we do that, what, should, what else should we do to help make this attack go smoothly? Here are your options. Okay, so I believe the most effective thing to do is to deploy archers to take out these cannons on the bottom left. Do you guys know how many archers we should deploy to take out these cannons? Remember, they're level 6. Just have a, a good estimate in your mind how many we should use to take them out. Okay, I think we should deploy 10 to 12 guys to take them out. Because we're not going to be using them in any super effective manner elsewhere, I'm, I'll probably go on the high side of that and go up to 12. I could, I could cut it down to 10, or if the, these, more, these cannons weren't as high up level, I might even cut it down to 8. But in this case, we got them to spare, so we might as well use them. But we also want to make sure that those mortars are distracted first, otherwise they'll kill those archers pretty fast. Okay, to review, this is how the attack's going to go. First, we're going to deploy wall breakers on the top right side. Secondly, we're going to deploy giants on the top right side as well. Third, we're going to destroy a couple giants on the bottom left to distract the mortars. Fourth, we're going to deploy archers on the bottom and, and the left side to attack the cannons. Are you guys ready? Let's go see how it works. Okay guys, let's get ready for an attack. So I didn't mention it, but I'm also going to deploy a couple barbarians at first, so to make sure these wall breakers don't get uh, shot as they uh, detonate on the walls. Also I'm going to have to deploy two wall breakers to take down these smooth stone walls. I know my current level wall breakers can't destroy them in one hit, unfortunately. It's quite close actually. So yeah, we'll do maybe four or five barbarians, and then uh, I'll put down the two wall breakers, and I'll do I think about six giants. Then I'll deploy one on the bottom left, then I'll deploy some archers. I think I'm going to have to hurry to deploy the guys on the bottom left before the giants get through this first mortar, uh, or before the, through this first cannon, uh, so the mortar doesn't start firing. I might have a bit of... Tr I might come back and put down some uh, extra barbarians up top here, or archers to help out, uh, but that's only afterwards. So, okay, let's get at it. Okay, there's some guys to distract. Two wall breakers. Six giants, one giant, uh, 13 or so guys, same thing over here, giant is taking fire and nearly dead now, okay, giant's dead, but the archer's still alive, I'm not going to deploy the other guys if I can help it, although it looks like these guys could use some help, uh, there's four of them, three of them, okay, yeah, we got this then. Uh, I don't want to use my entire army, just so, in case you are watching this as a lower level, just to prove, I mean, you don't need my your entire army. I'll leave up the score screen at the end, uh, so you can see exactly what I did deploy. Remember, if you don't have upgraded units to the same level, they are going to be weaker than mine, guys. Also, I did have to retake this video, so if you're wondering why the, all the resources are gone, yeah, uh, the lag caused me to screw up some stuff, so... At least for this educational video, I will edit this out. Uh, when I am doing multiplayer, I love uploading my failures uh, just as much as my successes. Actually, speaking of that, I'm thinking about making a bloopers video at some point. So maybe I'll include my screw-up attack in that one. That would be uh, fun. I have a couple other bloopers, so yeah, put them all in one video maybe to upload later. Okay, so right there, you saw me use uh, six giants on the top right. Uh, one on the bottom, which distracted both mortars for a good while. And then the archers cleaned up the cannons, because as you noticed, the single giant on the bottom never even got through the walls. So, uh, the archers on the bottom did just fine. They, uh, one on the archers on the top left, you can count how many died. I wasn't actually counting because I was distracted at the time, but only a couple died, uh, to the, uh, cannon. 
Okay guys, so there you see it. I deployed five barbarians for distraction, two wall breakers to destroy the walls, uh, seven total, and then 28 archers. Uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know how this went and how you thought the question stuff was, and I'll see you guys next time.